An ODM leader, Ryan Odinga, says he has no regrets over his stand on the Mao forest conservation and eviction of people who had encroached into the critical water tower that cost him politically ahead of the 2013 general election. Odinga pointing out that his conservation efforts had paid off, citing the rising water volumes in rivers draining from the Mao water catchment and tourism boom in the Mara. On the clamor for constitutional amendments, the former prime minister said increasing devolved resources from a minimum of 15% to 35% would accelerate development at the grassroots. Well, let's get more from our very own Francis Kashuri. The former prime minister had joined worshippers at the Christian Churches International in Narok County for a Sunday service. Odinga playing down questions about his stand on matters of faith. The former Prime Minister rekindling his dilemma in the run-up to the 2013 presidential race when he was tasked with leading government efforts to recover and conserve the Mao Forest, which cost him political support among members of the Kalenjin community and cheers from the Ma community. Handshake. <laughs> Na iyo handshake nsisi watu wa serikali imetupatia nafasi tufanya kasi bila wasuwasu. Odinga and his entourage later addressing Narok Town residents where he urged them to support the BBI-driven constitutional amendments describing a proposal to increase county share of the national cake annually as the ultimate solution to skewed development in the country. <laughs> A series of political salvos directed at Deputy President William Ruto and his hustler movement in the scramble for next year's State House occupancy. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV. Yeah.